Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a little video to kickstart the 12 Days of Christmas tutorials that are set to start on December 1st. They will go to December 12th. I'm gonna try my hardest to get a video out every single day, but of course, you know, with kids and life, things happen, so, but no matter what, I will be getting out a ton of Christmas videos for you guys. So this video is just going to be a look back at last year's. I do have a lot of new subscribers, so maybe you guys haven't looked into my past and maybe you're just looking towards the future. So I want to show you guys um, the videos that I did make last year and maybe give you some ideas for things that you can make or create or decorate your house. Um, I know a lot of my viewers are from the United States, so this week is your Thanksgiving holiday, which is amazing. So, of course, after that, you know, it's game on. It's time to get Christmas in order, and you know, maybe you wait until after Thanksgiving to decorate your house. So, I'm gonna have some decorating ideas and then some gift giving ideas. So, I hope that you guys stay tuned for all of those videos, watch them, share them, and you know, just help to get my videos out there and help support the channel. Um, of course, if you're not already following me over on Instagram and Facebook, I do have those links in the description box below. Um, or going over there and also helping with sharing does also help support my channel too. And all of these things are free for you to be able to help support this, um, you know, basically my, what I do every day. This is, this is the job now. I, I can't believe how much my channel has grown in the past year. It has doubled in size because of you guys and I wanna just thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. So um, anything that you do to help definitely helps to you know keep this going and I'm so excited for 2020, which is crazy to even say that number and I just owe it all to you guys. So I'm working super hard to get out some amazing videos for you guys. And also over at my Facebook, I do have an Amazon link so if you are, Doing any Cyber Monday shopping, I would love it if you use my link and you know also help support even more. Um, so we're gonna get right into the video. I'm just gonna go from one to ten. I think I have there. There is 12 videos, but two of them I don't want to talk about. <laughs> you know how that goes. But I do have 10 videos that I absolutely love and I would love for you guys to see. So thank you so much for all of your support again, and I will see you guys in all those videos. Bye guys. So the first video I want to show you guys is this super cute fabric gift bag. This is such a great little addition to any gift that people can reuse it for the following year or you can use this for any occasion, you know, birthdays or anniversaries or anything. I'm actually going to be making these for my daughter's birthday as goodie bags. So over at the blog post there will be measurements for six different um, bag sizes so you can go over to the video that's linked down below and then in that video there will be that link for the blog post so definitely go over there check this out if you want to try out these super cute adorable gift bags and it would definitely wow your friends when they see their gift neatly wrapped in an adorable little bag like this now my next tutorial is such an awesome little gift idea and it's such a perfect project for a new sewer in your life or if you're new to sewing this is the cup cozy this is perfect for your takeout cups it's just something that you can stick in your purse and just be a little bit extra or a little festive around the holiday seasons or you know any type of occasion They'll keep your hands from getting scolded and they are definitely a little head turner, especially if you have hockey games that you need to go to and you like to bring a coffee. Um, and they are great sellers too, so if you're in the little market circuit, I would definitely add these to some of your sales. So the next is this adorable Scandinavian gnome. Now this is one of those dollar store projects. You just grab some dollar store socks super cute idea um, I did have the fur already on hand and then I just used some felt for the top I put some rice in it and it is a great little doorstop just to be extra festive and there's so many possibilities for these guys you just got to go check out Pinterest because you can design these in any way and they're so stinking cute I just absolutely love these guys my next tutorial is this super easy poncho 
You can wow your friends with this project and they will ask you where you got it from, but it is so easy. You just get a big piece of fabric and then you cut it and then you finish it off and then it's, it's pretty much foolproof. So easy to make. And of course, over at the blog post, there will be that link and that will give you the exact dimensions of the fabric that you need, so don't forget that. The next tutorial is this super cute fur trim pillow with a deer decal. Now you can make it any decal you want and I'm going to show you guys how to do this without using a Cricut or a Cameo or something like that. I'm using some double sided sticky fusible something. Um, you'll see all that stuff is over at that blog post and the tutorial. Um, but it is so easy to do and then I just made my own fur trim which I again will show you how to do and how to cut out the fur and then I just made a simple slip cover that you can place over your pillow and then you can make you know make these all year round and just kind of swap them out now my next tutorial is one that I wasn't too sure about at the time I remember um, but it is a mantle scarf and it's not a very popular item I don't think I've ever seen it before but I saw one picture of it and I was like I need to make that it is actually really cool that it's just kind of a bunting but they're layered triangles absolutely love it it really brings something to my fireplace and it's so easy to make so if you want to give this a try then head over to that link which is down below Oh, you can see my next one there on the mantle, which is a very classic and much needed stocking. I will have a pattern, a PDF pattern over at the blog post for this super cute stocking. And I made it with that poncho material actually, which is kind of like a coating material. So it was nice and thick. And then I used that same fur trim that I used for the pillow that you just saw. And I made some cute little pom-poms and then the trim and I absolutely love how this stocking turned out. So this tutorial I envisioned maybe at a holiday party or New Year's Eve, a cute little clutch that you can take with you. And I made it with a old leather coat or you can make it with vinyl or cork. Um, super cute with that fun little bow detail on the front and would be a beautiful little addition to a cute little outfit. So the next tutorial is not necessarily a sewing project, but you do use fabric. And it is this beautiful Christmas star ornament, decoration, whatever you want to do with it, however you want to hang it. It is such a beautiful little piece and definitely a showstopper and people will wonder, how did you make that? You can make it out of paper as well, so not just fabric, but I did use some double-sided sticky paper um, put that in between the layers of fabric to make double-sided fabric and then you just use a glue gun to put it all together So my next tutorial is of course a classic. It is a beautiful Christmas apron um, This has a new technique where I'm going to be making the pleats with a fork You may have seen this over on social media. It turns out really really cute. I love this fabric I love this design I will have like I said the measurements and a PDF over at the blog post So that's pretty much it for all the tutorials for 2018 that I'm super excited about and I hope that you guys go over and check those out and share them and all that fun stuff So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed Don't forget to hit that button and of course get ready Ready for the 12 days of Christmas tutorials which will be happening very soon so I just want to say thank you to everyone and if you are um, in the United States happy Thanksgiving I hope you ate a ton and you're all ready to go for the Christmas holidays all right I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye guys